So, as you can see, it's pretty dark in here. But I'm going to turn the light on so I can give you better understanding. So this is my pantry. I wish I had taken a video clip of what it looked like before. But this is the new pantry. So basically, as you can see, this is my door. Goes into my hallway. I'll show you. See? Hallway. It says door right here. And then you come in. I'm not going to show you the rest of the house because it's kind of like still disorganized. But I want to give you a good taste of what my friend Phil did. So what he did was he cut down these shelves right here. He cut them down. What it was was a an L shape that came like this. So all this here was not here. It was all shelf. There was a shelf here that held the microwave. I've brought the smart oven in here now. And my friend Vic had put an outlet in, which is very safety because I've got my fuse box. I've got my bell connection. You know, bell, of course, they own practically everything. Um, this is my Kojiko, if I ever decide to bring cable in here again. And back here in here is my water shut off. So if I ever have any problems in the unit or any work needs to be done, this is where the water is literally turned off from. It's behind there. The really neat thing is, look what he did. See that thing there? Okay, it's literally part of the shelf. So he cut around it. That's how detailed he was. Now, obviously, there's still stuff here that is still out of place. Like my kitty litter is there, my sweet potatoes, because I still have to put together the shelf, my uh, bags, some extra, like, you know, passata and the uh, corn, which is not the corn on the cob. In those containers are my flour, my bread flour, my regular flour, and then the bottom shelf has most of my baking dishes and cooking dishes. My mother chopped me well. I have enough oil here. Who knows how long it's going to last, but I know it's never going to go bad. I've done some Google research. And yes, of course, I've got my Dyson stuff here because I haven't figured out where it's going to go. And then on this shelf is my espresso because I do have some mochas that I have yet to put back up. But when I post this, I'll show you what it looked like with the mochas. And so this aisle here is basically my cooking aisle or shelf. And this here is my baking shelf. So I've got like, you know, my sugar, my baking powder, my chobar from Italy, uh, some whatever. I still have some organizing to do. And this one here has the larger items that I couldn't fit anywhere else. And then way up there, I still haven't decided if I'm going to keep the deep fryer. I'm definitely keeping the bread maker because my mama's not here anymore. She was my bread maker. Not that I eat bread anymore, but that one can actually give me some good recipes. And these are just the empty stuff and not all empty, but... It's just wonderful. And here's where all my lids go. Now you're probably wondering why this wall over here is empty. It's not meant for the, the broom. It's not meant for the step. It's meant for the pots and pans that I took down so that my friend Phil could get in here because he's like a really tough, rugged, big guy. So, oh, and of course my smart Breville oven is right here and then underneath I've got laundry detergent just some extra pans and stuff so as much as I really feel I should have more shelves because I still have more boxes to go through I think this is looking quite well there's like walking floor space like look at that I mean if you could have seen it before you can get in here the person who designed it, well, actually, he didn't really design it first. His name was Larry. Honestly, I gave him measurements. I told him exactly what I needed. And then he put it in and the shelves were like 24 inches deep. Being visually limited, as you can tell right here, it's pretty dark back there. 
So can you imagine if that was like 24 inches? Um, yeah, it wouldn't have worked for me. So this is it. And I just, you know what, Phil, I just love where you put my Dyson. It's like handy. I've pulled it out. It's plugged in. It's very safety. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So that's the update on my pantry. It's not totally finished yet. Still needs its curtain and everything. But I have to tell you, yeah, it's starting to look really, really, really wonderful. It's a pantry. <laughs> it's actually supposed to be my utility storage. But I'm Italian. And an Italian home without a pantry? That's a no-no. But anyway, did you happen to notice there wasn't a lot of pasta in here? That's a good thing. And sometimes it's not because I still crave the pasta. All right, everybody. Hope you had a wonderful day enjoying the Indian summer. I don't even think that's an Indian summer. I think it's a hot summer still, even though we're technically in fall. And of course, the nights are getting shorter. And anyway, I look forward to showing you more of this later. Peace out. Ciao.